How do you accurately predict who's going to win this year's presidential race? A political science professor and election forecaster from Columbia University has one idea, while a professor from Stony Brook University has another. News 4's Greg Sergal talked to both about the methods behind their predictions in tonight's iTeam election project. Folks, do you have any idea what this clown's doing? Trump or Biden, who will be the next president? Michigan, Wisconsin, Florida. Stony Brook political science professor Helmut Norpa thinks he knows the answer. In 2020, it's hard to predict anything. And despite that, so Let's too say... does Columbia political science professor Robert Erickson. Their predictions... We're hitting what people want. ...are as different... Vote! It matters! ...as the two candidates. Donald Trump has a 91% chance of being re-elected. Very strong probability that, that Biden would win and... 90% chance he'd win the Electoral College. Why such wildly opposite outcomes? Professor Erickson relies on a model looking at polls and leading economic indicators. Professor Norpeth examines primary results and presidential election history. Interestingly, neither prognosticator sees the pandemic as a major factor. I, in the end, don't, don't think that it, it really uh, changed the dynamic of the race very much. Norpeth predicted a Trump victory four years ago, and he's been right every election since 1996. Going into the final two weeks, looks like you take a real, real shock or jolt to, to change things. Erickson and a colleague predicted a Clinton win four years ago, but have chosen the winner in every other race dating back to 1992. People might, might say, maybe I'm dyslexic. I'm getting in the, the, the too confused. Maybe the, the landslide is for Biden. This presidential prediction business can be dicey, the men say, and there's still time left for a big surprise. Sometimes there's a little movement toward the end. That's, of course, what Trump is counting on. That's why we're staying tuned. Greg Sergal, News 4 New York.